welcome back guys just heading off to Arthur's Pass uh, to meet up with the boys that have come from uh, the North Island so uh, should be a good day it's as hot as hell here in Christchurch uh, yesterday we had 35 degrees which is um, well I think in some places it was 37 which is massive for down here so we cooked today I think it's meant to get to 33 degrees which is still uh, pretty bloody hot like I say heading into Arthur's Pass which is about hour and three quarters away the guys have just phoned or Rob has and told me that uh, they are just leaving Greymouth so they've got about an hour and a half to Arthur's Pass so they may have to wait a little bit for me but uh, shouldn't be too bad so I'm hoping I don't run into too much rain it's not meant to rain until we get to the, <laughs> the Southern Alps into the Arthur's Pass area so we'll wait and see I th they're probably going to get a little, a little damp but uh, we'll just see how that one goes. Just realised I've forgotten the blimmin some stickers that I was going to bring. Two Kiwi riders have sent me some stickers of theirs and I was going to take some to Arthur's Pass and put in a spot where I've put other vloggers so the road from here to uh, Springfield which is sort of at the base of the Southern Alps is pretty long and very flat and uh, the roads are just long and straight so I'll probably turn the camera off until we get into Springfield maybe or a bit closer to the Alps anyway where where the road's a lot more interesting. Oh, only a big truck coming. It's a bit of a dicey intersection that one. You come in such an angle you can't twist your head around to see if anything's coming so uh, you've got to rely on your rear vision mirror like I just did when you're doing that of course you want to make sure that there's nothing right on your shoulder in the blind spot so uh, hence it was pretty much in the blind spot until I glanced that way uh, certainly looking forward to catching up with the boys Rob, Bryce and Joe uh, like I say, they've come all the way from the top of the North Island here in New Zealand. Uh, I can't remember how many days it's taken them now. I think this might be their third day. Telpo picked them uh, Greymouth last night. Oh, it could be fourth actually. And uh, yeah, obviously they're into Christchurch today to be spending tonight in Christchurch and then uh, hit the road tomorrow morning for the Burt Munro Challenge in Invercargill which is right down the other end of New Zealand in the bottom of the South Island of New Zealand so we'll be going down through an area first night in an area called the Catlins it's going to be interesting uh, eight of us in uh, one B&B bed and breakfast but anyway good and then the next day we're into Invercargill um, and that will be Wednesday evening and then Thursday we're at, uh, the first race is the uh, Bluff Hill Climb all these races that we see each day uh, they're based around the, um, the guy Bert Munro who uh, lived in Invercargill and still holds world records to this day on his old, oh look I can't remember, 1930s Indian, I think, might even be late 20s Indian, that he basically um, <laughs> potted up himself 
you know, if he, he needed a part, he'd forge it, I believe. He forged, like, pistons and things. And went across to uh, the US, Bonneville Salt Flats, and broke some world speed records. So, um, that's pretty brilliant. He did that in later life, I believe. He was probably uh, in his 60s when he did that. Got into that sort of thing, so uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, age is not a barrier. Getting back to the races, um, so the first race is the um, hill climb out at Bluff. Bluff is the area which is basically the most southern point of um, New Zealand. The only thing further south than that is Stewart Island, which is also a part of New Zealand, and then south of Stewart Island is Antarctica. So, uh, so you just walk up the hill, pick a spot where you want to stand, and have these bikes just screaming past you. Um, yeah, really gives you the feeling that you're part of the whole um, race, that's for sure. Uh, Thursday evening, I think they have, uh, they're having drag races. The unique thing about this uh, whole event is anyone can join in. When I was there last two years ago, there was a guy, he entered all events and he was on a, uh, it was like a Suzuki 250 trail bike. So road legal trail bike, um, and he ended in all the races. He ended in the, um, well, I think the hill climb, uh, definitely in the beach races, saw him in the beach races. Uh, then the drags, he was at the dra doing drags on this, um, pretty sure it was the Suzuki. It's all about getting everyone involved, so magic. On the Friday, I can't honestly remember what's happening Friday morning, if there's anything on a Friday morning, but um, Friday evening, uh, the beach races are on, they're probably, the, probably the, the, the one I look forward to the most, good old beach racing. Uh, that's one lucky blackbird. <laughs> Again, when I was here last, there was a guy on a, I think it was a Yamaha 1000 sports bike that had, he obviously had pimped it out, stripped everything off that weighed anything, and put a dirty big couple of sets of mud grip tyres or knobblies front and back. And unbelievable, the roost tail, it would come off the back wheel of that thing. Um, it was brilliant. Saturday, um, they, I think it's track racing, they have. Sunday, well, we'll head off. We've got a couple of the ladies to pick up in Queenstown, Jenny and Charlie, and they'll be joining us there. And then from Queenstown, we cruise through to Wanaka. Um, that area through there is one of uh, our favourite spots, Central Otago you could call it, and it's just, uh, it's just magic, the riding is magic, the scenery is magic, <laughs> I obviously can't say enough about it, I should say, it's, it's, um, it's just, it's what, what bike riding was invented for, you've got mountain riding, you've got twisties, you've got scenery, it's, um, it's just, it's everything, yeah, lakes, all the beautiful lakes, anyway, I feel like I've riveted it on enough, they make awesome pies um, here in Sheffield, it's another thing that, <laughs> it's funny, towns are almost starting to get rated by their pies here in New Zealand, so, you know, you'll be talking to someone and say, oh, I went to Arthur's Pass the other day. Oh, did you call into Sheffield and get a Sheffield pie? And there's the world famous Sheffield pie shop. <laughs> yeah, another little town called Fairley. Uh, nice little spot. Um, yeah, same thing. They have got a, a little calf there that just make the hell pies. And uh, again, you... Uh, you don't go through fairly without stopping and having a, a fairly pie. 
coming into Springfield. Springfield, New Zealand that is, not Springfield, the Simpsons world. Uh, but, in saying that, they do have a monument to uh, our friend Homer. So this is the last town, if you like, before you head into the Southern Alps. So yeah, it's always good to fuel up if you haven't already. I've got to show you. There it is. Look at that. Ode to good old Homer. We're starting to head into the Alps now. Awesome. One of my favourite rides. Uh, one close to home anyway. Venture Rider. What have we got here? Strong winds. Uh -huh. It's pretty dry around here at the moment. Tinder dry you might say. I mean poor old Aussies been having huge problems with their um, bushfires everywhere. Poor buggers. Um, the only effects that we get from that is our sky goes this airy orange um, and that's from the smoke blowing over from Australia but uh, yeah there has been a few fires flaring up here and there over here in NZ but thankfully um, they have been contained so guys I'll sign out here and catch you shortly Welcome back guys, starting to get into the more interesting spectacular part of the ride now, so uh, yeah, sort of bring you back. You've got to be a little bit careful around here, not only for trucks, but every now and again there's a bit of shingle that's come down from the cliff faces here and uh, sits in the middle of the road. And uh, yeah, you've got to be just aware of that. Can't go too silly around these corners. Oh, it's obviously new tar seal there with some shingle as well. gave up smoking years ago. Wish this truck had. been right here in this spot. This is actually where the million dollar bogan tried to climb the mountain. Right there. <laughs> Character. Um, but anyway, I've been in that spot when it's just been snowing full on. Awesome. Oh, well, bikes. I would hazard a guess that those guys are heading to Invercargill to the Burt Munro Holy shit, oh god I oh, oh. hate that 
was only paper <laughs> but it could have been a lot worse that's why I hate following trailers people you know the dreaded DIYs they get all these trailers they throw all this gear and building equipment and put one tie down on to hold all this stuff on and then take off at 100 kilometers an hour down the road there's stuff flying around in all directions Righto guys, I'll leave you to it, catch you on the next one. Taxi! Jesus! That must be a hell of a fear, because he is a long way from anywhere. stuff on the road here. Not good. Just remember, I got brand new tyres front and back on this thing. I'm probably meant to be taking it a little easy. Um, mind you, I've probably done 50, 60 k's on it now. Nasty little spot through here. For no particular reason. The road's in a bit of a state around here at the moment, fortunately. Station, it's quite a well known station. Um, yeah, I've had mates come out and do adventure rides around there. Uh, mine didn't, obviously, but they just told me about the endless views that they had riding around that countryside. Man, when you come through here in the winter, sorry for hesitating, but just keep an eye out the bikes in case they're my mates. Um, yeah, when you come through this area in the winter, the temperature just drops right Lake Pearson. You come down where I am now, and the temperature <laughs> comes down with you. It's unreal. I mean, you'll be you'll be cold anyway, obviously coming through the snow mountains and everything. But the moment you drop down next to this lake, oh, oh, temperature drops another five degrees, I reckon. Back guys, I think the battery is uh, about to die, but uh, yeah, this is an awesome braided river area through here. That um, just like our way, as you can see, great views. And would you look at that? They've even thrown in a, a rainbow for us today. Yeah, I think this is the upper reaches of the Waimakariri River, um, which uh, goes down to. Uh, East Coast, just to the sea, just north of um, Christchurch. It's a pretty special area through here.
wind is <laughs> uh, yeah a bit of a factor they've been working on the cliff faces um, here for quite a while now just stabilizing them obviously um, after well I don't know whether it's earthquakes or just storm natural erosion but yeah you can see these rocks and things um, are pretty loose up there and they come down every now and again and cause a bit of a hazard on the road so these guys have been working here hardy up stabilizing it all